How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and today I am making a video that I've been meaning to make for quite some time, uh, and I know what you're thinking. I've already reviewed this, I've already done a walkthrough, what could I possibly be talking about? Well, it's actually in the title, so you probably know what this video is about, and this is about how the Perplexus Lightspeed actually works, um, because being able to solve it, being able to talk about it, th those are two totally separate things from actually understanding how this Perplexus works, because this Perplexus is so different from the rest of them in terms of playstyle and features. And so, uh, and, and it can be a little bit confusing and the instructions aren't the most clear. So I wanted to just walk you guys through how this works, how this Perplexus is designed to be played because, you know, it's a looped track. There's not a start and end, all that sort of stuff so that you guys actually know what you're getting into when you uh, are playing with this. Because unfortunately, the Perplexus instructions aren't always the most clear. And even still, I'll admit that I don't fully understand everything about this game, but I'm going to do my best to break it down for you. So if you guys are interested in my review or my walkthrough, you can click uh, links in the description for that. And, and my walkthrough shows you how to navigate this course, which is important, but we're not going to be focusing about the course navigation in this video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how this is actually designed to be played. And this has uh, a bunch of electronic features in it. And it's basically like a timed perplexus. So you notice there's two buttons here. And they are the ones that control the main functions on the right here. This is the power up button that cycles through the game modes. And then this is the play button. So if I click the power up button, it'll turn on. And just like that, the white light will come on. So once this thing is on, there's a few things that you can do. To power it back off, you hold both at the same time. And the light goes off. And you'll notice it has a light and sound. And it's just used AAA batteries that you can replace easily the back here. So I turn it back on again. Uh, this has different volumes. So if we hold down the uh, on button here for two seconds. There you go. Cycle through the volumes. You can hear the three volumes, uh, loud um, in the middle and then very quiet. And I'm gonna stick with the quiet one just for this video so that you can hear me better uh, because we don't really need to hear the musical cues for this, but that is how you change the sound. So this Perplexus comes with three game modes, which can be switched by cycling through the on button. So the game indicates what game mode is on by how many times it flashes and what it sounds like. So I'll just play this through. It'll go one, two, and then three. So that's one, that's two, and that's game mode number three. Then to start, uh, you would hit the play button and the mode would start. So for now, we're in mode three hit play and there it goes you can hear the music playing it starts flashing just like that and so that is how this game how you get this game started up now how does this actually work so uh let's go to game mode one because that's the one that i played the most uh you click on game mode one and when i hit play uh it'll start flashing again making noise and the color that it flashes is the color that you want to get the marble to so i'll do a quick demonstration of this because it's fairly easy for me to do so I'll run my marble across the track here, over to green, and it hits these little sensors, and it goes OK. Uh, and so now it switches colors, and it wants me to go get blue. And uh, this is basically the gist of how it works. Uh, so then I want to go from green to blue, trip the sensor for blue, and then it'll give me a new color. And I keep tripping them uh, and see how high a score I can get before the time runs out. And eventually, so then eventually it will run out like you just saw, and you will fail if you didn't get to the one that you're trying to get to in enough time and then it'll flash at you like it did to indicate what your score was which in this case was one i got one of the the uh, colored sections before it timed out and that is my score and so this game keeps track of the score so when you turn this on uh on the given game mode if you hold down the play button it'll tell you your high score for that level so if i hold down you'll see my high score for the first level is three. Now, the way it tell, communicates your high score here is uh, short flashes are one and long flashes are 10. I haven't got to 10 yet, but so in that case, it was three short flashes. So it was three if you had one long flash and then four short flashes, it would be 14. And that's how it calculates your score. Now you'll notice if I switch game modes here to the second, my high score is zero and that is indicated by this red light here. 
and uh, if I switch to third game mode, same thing, my score is indicated as a zero. And if you complete a round without getting to any of the colored points either, then it will also flash red to indicate that your score for that round was zero. So that is the gist of the gameplay, guys, here. Uh, talking about the three different modes and how they're different, it's not really clear to me, uh, and it's not really clear from Perplexus's website either. Uh, what I can tell you is that all three different modes ha give you a different amount of time to get to the colored uh, gates or barriers, or whatever you want to call them, uh, and that is the only major difference that I can find between them. Uh, yeah, there's time and the music tunes, they play a little bit differently. Uh, kind of wind up, get a little more intense for some of them. Some of them just abruptly end. Uh, but that is really all that I can tell for the difference between modes. Uh, when you look to the Perplexus website, it mentions something about one of the modes having 20 levels to work through. Another says this one is designed to be played with friends. And so I don't really understand how that all means. I mean, maybe the idea is that one of the game modes, you do it and then you pass along to your next friend. So you have a little bit more time for that. I, I don't know the whole gist of it, but I do know that the timing is different on all three modes. And that's about all I can tell you on that end of things just because it's not super, super clear to me. So just to recap the objective of the game, guys, uh, you're basically timing yourself going through this maze to get to the correct color barriers. The middle part here flashes the color that you want to go to, and you want to do that before the time runs out. You turn it on with the little on button here at the left. You turn it off by holding both down at the same time time. Uh, when you turn it on, you can cycle through the game modes using the on button, and you can press the play button to begin that level. If you want to see your high score on a level, you hold down on the play button and it'll flash you your high score. And if you want to change the volume, you hold down on the on button until it goes into a volume mode, and then you can cycle through the volumes. And I think that is the gist of what you need to know to uh, understand how to play Perplexus Lightspeed, guys. I hope for any of you who might have had some confusion that this is helpful and cleared a little bit of that up for you. I didn't know the best way to go about explaining all this to you guys, but I hope I did a, a decent job. I have not made a video like this before. Uh, if you guys did like this video, if you found it helpful, click the like button down below. It's a great way to show your support and it's always appreciated. If you guys are having trouble with something, don't understand uh, how it works, leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you with some answers for whatever your struggles or problems might be. Subscribe for more content like this. I have tons of Perplexus content on my channel and I make new Perplexus videos every week. So there's lots coming out. So if you are a Perplexus fan, subscribe and you're always going to have new Perplexus related content coming out on my channel. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.